Okay, hi there guys. Welcome again to our library management system tutorial. Okay, last time we spoke about uh, defining database object, we created a single object. Um, in case you uh, can't remember, it's the database management system class and its purpose is to manage uh, co communication with the database, manage the transactions and the commands and stuff like that. So um, after creating that, we're going to continue our project and next we're going to work on the uh, staff information. So first thing we have is to define the staff table. So um, let's go to the table design. So what do we have? We have employee login name, employee name and password. So we have these three values. Okay, so let's go here and uh, from this ta these tables, I'm going to create one and here this is gonna be employee login name there you go on var chart okay so this is the login name no problem with that next um this is gonna be employee name okay and here what do we have so we have this one the full name okay i guess 100 character will be enough um yeah and what do we have we have employee password okay uh, basically we might need to um, include some role uh, employee role information but we will add that later on okay um, okay so this is gonna be what this is gonna be let's go back to here I want to use the correct naming um, or the sent the one I wrote in the documentation so this is gonna be the staff okay um, by the way is the staff the same as the staff as and like a stick um, is the same words used for both um, mind is bad so if I'm mistaken correct me please anyway so here um, there's gonna be staff there we go so this is the staff member table and I'm gonna hit OK OK uh, the path is not of a re legal form what uh, wait a second refresh what's wrong with that um okay I see so here let me go I'm gonna say modify connection um okay can test that okay connection successful that's totally weird weird Library management system database. Okay, no problem. Come on, what's wrong with you? Okay, this is weird. Let me save that, close the project, and run it again. So I'm gonna close it. I can't figure out why something like that happens. Um. Anyway, Visual Studio sometimes gets crazy. There we go. So, a few seconds. There we go. So let's open that. Okay, tables okay it's working so this is the staff table as you can see here these are the columns so employee login name employee name password okay it's working so we finished the first thing here and in this case it is defining the staff table we finished that next we are going to define the staff class and uh, this one's important because it's gonna uh, communicate with the database and load the staff information so here I'm gonna I can create this inside the database but I'm gonna create another folder here I'm gonna call this uh, you know, business uh, sometimes you hear the term business logic um, if I understand it correctly then it's the code that communicates with the database and represent the main objects of the program okay so uh, the reason I put the DBMS class in the database part is because it has general purpose not specific to our program but these are going to be specific to our program so right click and add a new class and this is gonna be come on come on come on okay so this is gonna be staff sorry sta staff class there we go so this is a staff class I'm gonna hit add okay so uh, a few comments um, this class is used to manage staff information so what do we need to have here basically in the database we have login name and employee name and password so we're gonna have the same members uh, sorry define the uh, 
members here so private what do we have we have uh, employee login name a string and we have private uh, employee name a string and we have private uh, employee password a string okay so for these um, these are the main variables but later on we will need some extra information to detect if the values in the database was uh, sorry if the values in the database needs to be updated or not so for this reason we are gonna do this um, private oh wait a second I'm gonna, gonna just copy this and I'm gonna say old there we go old 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 okay so you have two copies of the same variables that all represent the value in the database okay and should not be updated unless you are saving the value into the database okay so uh, these are the members now since these are private no one can access them so basically you need to uh, have a way to access these variables and for this reason we're gonna define the setters okay um, here this is gonna be public uh, uh, sub this is gonna be what set employee login name okay and here the MP login name a uh, string or maybe just login name will be enough okay so basically me dot employee login name equal login name login name there we go okay and same goes for the next one subset employee name okay and this is gonna be name a string okay me dot employee name equal name okay um finally public subset employee password and this is gonna be what uh password a string there we go and what do we have we have dot employee password equal password there we go now this one needs a little bit more work maybe I'm gonna do that later but the basic idea is that you don't want to store the, the password as it is you want it to have encrypted so we'll have to add some code to encrypt that later on okay and since I forgot how to encrypt things there is the AES class um, I need to uh, read the documentation about that and it's gonna take time so maybe next tutorial we're gonna work on that okay so these are the setters okay um, similar to setters we are gonna uh, you are gonna need the getters okay so here define the getters okay so this is gonna be public function get employee login name um, a string this is going to be return me dot employee login name okay um, what do we have also this is going to be public function get employee name uh, a string this is going to be return me dot employee name and uh, what do we have last uh, as last thing public function um, get employee password a string and that is gonna be return b dot employee password okay so we finished defining the setters and getters there's no problem with that we're gonna save that um, let's go back to this code so we defined the class itself now this is the th interesting thing is how do you add a staff into the database so basically you are gonna create a, an object here but um, what are we gonna do is um, in order to the object to be saved into the database we have to do the following we have to create a method that saves it into the database so uh, this function is used to save a staff member into the DB okay so check it out how I usually do it this is gonna be public function insert into DB okay and here this is going to be db uh, db ms as uh, db ms class okay because this one manages the transaction the transaction um, commit as boolean uh, if you want to save the ch uh, to commit the changes or not and this function is going to return a boolean so if this function executes successfully we are going to get uh, 
the uh, get true otherwise we're gonna get false so um, there's a number of things also I'm gonna do so basically uh, the work will be between the at, uh, try catch so what's happen what's happening here so dimension c1 as new collection dimension oh, oops sorry gosh why am I doing this let's go back here a little bit so um dimension s of string equals insert into staff okay and what do we have we have uh, okay uh, let me check this class did I do everything I need okay and da, 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 da. okay no problem so I guess I did most of the things I need but not everything anyway so insert into staff employee login name let me write the column names here okay just to make it a little bit underscore okay there's gonna be employee login name oops and login name comma and underscore there's gonna be employee name comma and underscore you can write that on a single line and finally employee password comma and underscore uh, basically sorry you close that and next you need to specify the parameters so you open a bracket this is gonna be what this is the first parameter second parameter and third parameter so we have three parameters here okay and finally uh, dbms dot execute sql the sql is s okay um, maybe I need to change this one to be sql to be a little bit meaningful and um, the parameters um, this is gonna be me dot employee login name me dot employee name and me dot pass uh, employee password okay so after setting these you need to uh, to commit the changes uh, okay first let me insert the values into DB next is commit the changes commit the changes so the commit is passed here as a parameter because sometimes you want to execute more than one statement in the same transaction so this way I can control that check it check how I do it so if commit then dbms dot comment and that's it uh, one last thing uh, make old equal new so me dot old employee equals me dot employee uh, login name okay and uh, me dot old employee name equal me dot employee name there we go and me dot old employee password equal me dot employee password how simple is that okay no problem so um these statements will make sure that uh the old value will be the same as the new ones and finally i'm going to return true if any kind of error happens what's going to happen uh, the following happens dbms dbms dot rollback so any kind of changes will be cancelled and you are going to return false okay this is very important here okay so it's a, it's a very simple function now let's test this out so save it let's go to our test where is our test here let's go to our test form let's go to here and go to this part okay so test 04 um, what do we have we have staff insert record there we go and so how do you insert record into the database now based on our work it's going to be something very simple so dimension staff object this is going to uh, as a new uh, uh, library management system dot staff class so we create a single object next we need to fill that so staff object dot set uh, employee login name smith for example 
staff object dot set employee name. Um, this is gonna be what this is gonna be John Smith. Okay, I don't know why many use the name John Smith uh, as an example. And the password one two three. Now these values are not inserted into the database. Now if you want to check everything goes well, so if staff object dot insert into db this is going to be what this is going to be obj and obj as you remember is the database management system and i don't want to commit the changes then um, if everything goes well um, the true part will get executed so control c let's get to this one control v go test 4 is okay otherwise Let's go to the second text for test for failed. There we go. Very simple, very straightforward. So let's save that and hope it works. So run, come on, buddy, and go. And test for failed. It seems that we did something wrong. Uh, it's better it failed because uh, um, let's trace that so you have an idea what's happening. So let's go. What did we do wrong here? So. F11. Um, so this is the SQL. Oh, uh, it's an error in the SQL format. So insert into this values. The word values is missing. So there's going to be values like that. Okay. Um, this is obviously causing errors. So now reevaluating this. So insert into blah 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 values. Okay. And next, it get executed successfully. Don't commit anything and the values uh, old values now equals the new ones and um, yeah now it's successful okay so um all works now now the thing is if you want to see some results um, i'm gonna make this to true just for one time so that you can see it's working and the reason that um, i'm setting this to true in order to commit the changes so they're all be inserted and the changes will be saved so let's run that the next rollback won't affect anything so go now i'm gonna stop it put it the way it was so this is false now if we go to the staff table and go uh, go to show table data check it out you can see smith john smith and the password okay so um if you have a look at the code we didn't write any sql in the main program here in our test part all we did we filled the object and told it to insert itself into the database so now our work is much easier we don't have to worry about transaction and stuff like that okay um yeah so um i guess we can now go here and uh yeah mark this so um let me save this here and save this here and uh, restart the recording okay just a second Okay, so um, let's continue with our work. So we finished the first part, which is inserting a record into the database. Next, we're going to work on loading record from database. Um, same technique will be used. Uh, when I say same technique, it means we are going to use a similar function. So um, again, this is going to be like this. Um, let's move this here. Come on, come on. Okay. So uh, simple comment here this function is used to load staff information from DB okay so this is gonna be like this public function dash function so this is gonna be what load staff wait, wait a second load from DB wait, I guess load from DB okay so what we need here is uh, the the um, uh, sorry, dbms as dbms class, okay, and we don't need anything here as boolean. So this function is going to return a true. Oh, um, uh, not uh, here. I didn't put a comment because if um, we don't need to save anything, we are just loading a record from database. We are not changing, and we don't want to save such kind of changes. Bec because nothing was changed actually so here we're just loading a record if the function succeeds it's gonna return true otherwise it's gonna roll back and return false so again try um, oops I forgot something uh, which record will be loaded well basically we need to pass the login name 
login name I'll string. So um, this is how, how we do it. At first is get the record. So dimension as a string. Uh, what's gonna happen is uh, as equal. Bb. Uh, oops. Uh, what's that? Bbm as dot. Uh, Creators are set. This is gonna be what? Select star from stab. Where? Uh, what do we have? We have. Uh, um. What is it? Em employee login name. Employee login name equals at zero. And the parameter here is login name. Okay, so we need to make sure that a record was retrieved. So if uh, dbms dot read and check not end of value as then. So if there is a record, something will happen here. If not, else uh, something different will happen. So what happens if everything is is fine? So here, uh, full the uh, object. So this is gonna be dot uh, employee login name equals uh, dbms dot uh, dot uh, get column value. What's what's gonna be here? This is gonna be uh, employee. Uh, sorry, s followed by what? Um, employee login name. Employee login name. Okay, so this gets you the first column, and then me dot employee equals dbms dot get column value as this is gonna be what this is gonna be um, employee name. Okay, and dot play password equal dbms dot what get column value as and this is gonna be what employee password. Now um, it might seem a little bit lots of work, but it uh, but uh, later on you'll find working with this make your code very much easier. Okay, so we fill the object uh, set old equals a new. So dot old employee name equal me dot em employee name cash employee name. There we go. Dot old employee login name equal me dot by login name and me dot by password equal me dot by password okay so we load everything and finally we return true so if the record was not found uh, uh, oops I forgot something important before you return you need to close the result uh, record set close record set and you need that because uh, um, what happens is that you don't want to, uh, what do you call it, you don't want to leave any kind of upper resources. So what we should do here, um, after that, it's uh, dbms.closeRecordSet, uh, it's going to be S, there we go. And um, if the record, no record, no record was found, so close result set. So dbms.closeResultSet S, and also rollback because whenever there's some kind of failure in the system we're gonna create a rollback so any kind of changes will be neglected okay although we, are, we didn't do anything here but you know just a standard procedure and return false so if any kind of exception happens again dbms dot rollback and return false okay so um, it's as simple as that now before I go to the test part let me just show the table data and remove any old information. Reason is later on when I run the test, inserting the Smith record will uh, will trigger an error because Smith is a primary key value, and uh, it being duplicated will create a problem. Okay, so um, let's go back to our test form. Double click here, and uh, now let's go to. Mm -hmm. Again, da, 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 da. okay. This is gonna be test zero five. Staff load record and few equal signs. There we go. Now um, we are gonna insert the value here. We are gonna load the value uh, at another location. So dimension staff obj two as a new library management system staff class. Oops. 
have a class okay so now we create a new object now uh, all we have to do is if uh, staff obj2 dot load from db and this is going to be what obj this database management system followed by the name uh, the login name is smith okay then this means the loading is successful okay so we're gonna insert the record here uh, sorry display that uh, test 5 was successful otherwise test 5 failed this is the second list box so um, I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna uh, sorry, before I do anything else, let me go to the VARS table again and show table data. This one needs to be cleared as well. There we go. And delete. And yes, okay. Um, that's because I committed the changes it's <coughs> from, sorry, sorry. It's from the last uh, commit. So uh, hopefully this test will solve any kind of issue. Okay. So um, let's run this. And go my friend all working so you might be wondering how can I make sure that these values are loaded well basically we can do a trace here um, so I'm gonna run this I will click OK here and uh, F10 so I will hit F10 once now this is stuff object when I open that you can see that employee is a Smith the employee name is John Smith employee password 123 um, it seems that for some reason the old values did, were, were not set so this means I'm, I'm having problem with the loading there is some kind of error oh I forgot to write old here sorry okay it's good that I did a trace um, let me stop this now and uh, let's go back to our code so run this again and go and run and run again so uh, what do we have here so these values as you can see smith john smith one two three and the old values now are set correctly all is fine okay that's great um okay so um since this one's working we finished another step in our project okay so we're gonna mark that okay so now um, about editing stuff uh, edit stuff record okay so um, what we want to do when when we want to edit some kind of record I'm gonna do some extra work here I must make sure that the existing record in the database was not changed um, so this will require me to do some extra coding um, so here uh, I'm gonna create another function. Let's go to the stuff class. Um, let me mm, collapse these small functions because, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's easier to read this way. So, next, this function checks to see if the record was changed or not. Okay so um, let's see so public function uh, was record changed um, okay so was record changed so dbms as uh, dbms class there we go and as boolean and try so what should we do in order to know if the record was changed or not? We need to reload the record from the database. So dimension tm because of that we're going to create temporary objects. So dimension tmp as uh, uh, new staff class staff class. Okay, so we created an object of the same type, and now we are going to load the same record using the old value. So if uh, not tmp dot load from db what do we have we have uh, where is it we have uh, dbms followed by not old login name there we go so what happens then 
uh, dbms dot rollback return false. So load the record from db. Okay. So if you don't understand what this uh, does, we are creating object of the same type. We are loading the record from the database, and here we are using what? We are using the old employee name because you might change the name to a new value. So the old employee name will be usually the name in the inside the database. Okay. So this is the first thing to do. Next, what we want to do is to make sure that values were not changed. So check if any value was changed okay uh, sorry so was record changed um, well actually we have three states we have either error yes or no so in that case there's gonna be a string so it's not a boolean value so we are gonna return error in this case okay so now let's check if values change so ftmp dot old uh, employee login doesn't equal me dot old employee login then what return yes what this means that if the value in the database is different from the current value in the records then this means that the values does not match so return yes okay same technique will be used to check other two columns so if tmp dot employee name doesn't equals me dot uh, employee name then return yes again and finally um, ftmp dot employee password uh, sorry I should all use old gosh because the other values might get modified sorry 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 uh, me dot old password then return yes there we go so we make sure that the records are not changed and um, if none of these get executed in that case return what no the record was not ex uh, changed okay next thing to do is if any kind of error happens dbms dot rollback and return error okay we need that this is very important so we finish this now let's go to the important part is how to edit the information okay so let's go here this function is used to edit the information uh, the record the record in the, in the DB so public function function um, update uh, DB and this, uh, what do we have here? We have dbms as a dbms class and commit as boolean as boolean. There we go. So what we need to do first step uh, again try. So first we want to lock the record to make sure that no one is going to modify it while we are checking it and doing some validation here. Okay, so first lock this record. Okay, so um, uh, what do we have? dbms dot execute SQL select star from staff uh, where uh, employee login name equals at zero. Okay, for update. So for update, we'll lock this record. Okay, so we lock this record. And what do we have next? We have to do what? We have to say, uh, we have to pass uh, e dot old employee login name. There we go. Um, so this, this is one thing here. Okay. And uh, okay. So before I continue, let me just pause the video for a second. Okay. Uh, okay sorry so let's continue here so um, here we locked this record and next we need to check that no uh, the record was not changed so here check if record was changed so what do we have here we have uh, dimension r equal me dot was record changed to dbms 
So if r equals error, if there's an error, then dba, oops, dbms dot rollback, and what do we have? We have to uh, return false. Okay. And also, if r r equals what? Uh, yes. So basically, if there's an error or the record was changed, we're gonna roll back and return false. If not, uh, update the DB. So what should happen here? So basically, we need to update the records with the new values. So this is how we're gonna do it: dbms dot execute sql update um, staff set employee password equal at zero where employee login name equal at one um, um, I will fill the parameters in a second so what do we have we have me dot employee uh, password followed by me dot uh, old employee login name make sure that you use the old login name not the new one because the new one might get modified um, similar to this we are gonna need to modify these two so employee name what do we have this is gonna be employee name okay and finally we have employee login name and in this case employee login name. Now also notice that I'm changing the employee login name the last one because if I change it at the beginning I need to make sure I use the new name later on in the SQL. Okay so uh, this updates the database next we need to commit uh, commit the changes commit the changes so if commit then um, dbms dot commit okay so we save it no problem and finally, what do we need to do? Um, after doing that, uh, we need to, to make the old values equal new. So me dot old employee login name equal me dot employee login name, and me dot uh, employee name equal me dot employee name, and uh, me dot what? Play, um, sorry, the old one, and the old password equal me dot old. Employee old employee password. So um, set old values equals a new. The reason is uh, the values are now updated in the database, so these the old values reflect what's in the database. So after that, um, we are going to return true. If any error happens, we are going to say this: dba dot oops dbms dot rollback and return false. As simple as that. Very straightforward. Okay, so um, it's not very complicated really. Um, now we're gonna test it. <coughs> so um, let's go to what? Uh, let's go to our test form again. So we have this record, we just loaded Smith information and we are gonna modify it a little bit. Control C, Control V, okay. So instead of five, let's go to step six. Uh, edit or update, update, stuff update. So instead of doing anything here, I'm gonna say stuff obj2 dot set employee login name. Um, I'm gonna call him John. So then uh, the login name changes from Smith or let me make it Smith 2 for example and here uh, I'm gonna do what so the uh, the method will be sorry maybe this is what happens when I becomes lazy okay wait a second so this is gonna be update DB and I need to pass obj because this is the database management system object followed by what followed by value false I don't want to commit the changes and if all goes well I'm gonna add this here as simple as that so um, I'm gonna save that and run the code and go oh it's failing let's see why it's failing so let's click here save this and run
hopefully it works now uh, or figure out what the error is so uh, let's go to f11 okay so select start from staff for employee login name equal zero for uh, at zero for update so um, I execute this and I'm getting an error um, there were error parsing query token number token offset token of four um, wait a second uh, there is no update there should be select for update um wow okay um i remember this select for update how can i forget that i've used that before um wait a second uh, click here and uh, open this so let's go to select for update um statement go there we go so um yeah this is select for update let's see i just need to see a single example not much so select something from something for update why it doesn't work for update so select employee something from table name or something for update it's the standard sql ending with for update part uh, let me check the error again just wait a second go again f11 so what's the error again there was an error passing query token number equal one token error four so it seems that there is no for update uh, for this version of uh, SQL Server. Um, that's strange. There, there must, there must be one. So I'm gonna say here, um, SQL Server file based select for update. example example that's very interesting um so in SQL server how can I lock single row okay so okay select something 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 okay so here mm, Well, um, that's kind of strange because, uh, yeah, in excess there is a select for update. Can't figure out what the reason is. I'll have to do some research on this, but uh, I'm sure SQL Server should have something uh, on that. In excess, I use this all the time. And Postgres, I use it. How come it, it doesn't happen here? Okay. Mm. Okay, no problem. Optimistic control, select something. Mm. anyways well leave that doesn't matter so um regardless of this uh, regardless of this I am gonna solve it in another way basically I'm gonna update the record so I'm gonna say this uh, I'm gonna say update staff set employee login name equal the same okay this is not uh, oops employee login name equal add zero employee login name. okay that's it so what I did here 
I just ask the database management system to update the same record to have the same name so it will have no effect whatsoever okay but it is gonna lock this record okay um, and this is what I want actually um, but uh, I don't prefer to use this uh, okay usually you will use select for update okay this is just a workaround so let's have a look at it and uh, okay and it's working now okay how interesting it's working now um, so uh, we could later on uh, load the record again so le let's trace the code so uh, before that let me just run this go and all is working and now I'm gonna um, run this here go and next F11 so this one get updated uh, okay so where uh, records change so here um, we are we have checked and everything so the record was not changed so here we are updating the first uh, column, second column, third column, and uh, this is it. This is it. It's working fine. Okay. So all is working well. Let's save this now and uh, let's have a look here. So you finished the edit staff record. Okay. So what do we have to do next? We have to do a remove okay and uh, a remove well basically removing a record it's not that wise to do well yeah you might want to do that uh, but basically we d you don't need the object itself so you just need to pass the uh, what do you call it you want to to pass this to a general function you pass the login name and the record could be removed by that okay so um, we are gonna do that and then I'm gonna have to stop okay we just need to reach about 7% of progress okay and also um, it's about time I I stop working on this okay so let's go to uh, where's that this is the gosh stop class okay so this is the class so come on come on, come on. okay so um, these all looks fine um okay so the setters the getters okay and finally um well i can make it work as the same style basically you'll have to load the object first and then you request removing the object so um although it's not that practical but i am gonna do it so um this function is used to remove the object from DB okay so public function um, remove uh, from DB dbms as dbms class and commit as boolean there we go and uh, this is gonna be what as boolean simple as that next what do we need to do is put a try here so we have try and what also do we have to do um, um, it is gonna be very similar to the update you may I want to make sure that no changes were made before you remove the record reason is somebody else might have done some kind of important uh, uh, important uh, changes and uh, you don't want to you know delete the record or the work that he just did okay so this is gonna be the same if all goes well you're gonna remove the record remove the record and this is uh, very simple dbms dot execute sql delete from um, staff where employee login name equal at zero um, this is gonna be what me dot old employee login name okay so um, yeah and finally 
uh, f commit and e dot com uh, sorry uh, dbms dot commit and return true there we go and if any error happens dbms dot rollback return false as simple as that so let's save that let's go to where let's go to our testing form um, let's go to our seventh test number of equal signs test 07 staff remove come on come on come on come on okay so staff obj2 so basically f staff obj2 dot remove from db which is smith2 okay in that case what's gonna happen we are gonna say obj false then if all goes well well you know what happens we're not gonna put the result in in this yeah seven and seven as simple as that so if you have a look at this code it's very straightforward you fill the value insert it to database um, you ask it uh, the, uh, you ask the object to load itself from the database and so on okay um, I'm gonna save that and run this code go 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 here all working fine um, so basically as you can see uh, the final code that we are gonna use in our application is gonna be very simple it's gonna be one or two lines we we won't have to worry about how uh, database management system work and all these details because our code will handle all this complex stuff uh, also I want you to have a look at the staff class um, you can see here we have executed multiple commands and we didn't worry about creating command a connection a transaction and stuff like that it's all being managed right away using the database management system object um, which make things much 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 easier okay um, so this is why classes make your work uh, quite uh, easy okay so um, I'm going to save this now and I'm going to stop recording also. Um, basically, we finished about 7% uh, of our project. Um, you will find this video available on uh, the new website, MKA Soft, one word, there's no dash in, in the middle, mkasoft.com. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, send them to notes at mkasoft.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.